Here's the punter, Jake Bailey, ready to do the honors. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds. So really good starting field position up past the 40-yard line. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. A give left side to Robinson. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. So that time they get the tight end on the hold. Normally he's a pretty good run blocker, but this time he just didn't get his arms extended and let go quickly enough. The flag came out as a result. It's a gain of three and it'll be second down. tight end pits and he is going to lose yardage here they lose two on that last play so things get even tougher third and long coming up it looked like the defense they were ready for that one really left him almost no room to work after catching the ball he could throw every move in the book at him they were there and they tackle him for a loss to the right side complete to miller and he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Their opening drive here is going to result in a punt. They got seven yards there, but not enough. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. On fourth down, Bradley Pinion on to punt for the Falcons. Braxton Berrios deep for Miami. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line, absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five, superb. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try and create some space. Now a second and ten. Now their 31-year-old running back, Raheem Mostert. And he's taken down, but able to get this up to the 20-yard line. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. Veteran running back like him, we've seen a lot of those chunk carries in his career. And that's why you don't just look at his birth certificate and decide when a guy is done, right? Because you know as well as I do in this league, as soon as you hit 30, they're looking to let you go if you're a running back. Sometimes there's a little tread left on the tires. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Now second and seven from the 23. Up the middle they go with Moster. And he'll take it forward for about five up to the 28-yard line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. They need two. Here's third down. They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he'll have a Dolphins first down as he gets this up past the 30 to the 32. A couple of nice carries back to back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these are bare bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yards you're looking for, right? Let's go ahead and use a cliche. Stay ahead of the change, right? Five more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening drive. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And it'll be second and very short. Seemed like a couple sets of eyes were on the quarterback, so he decided, hey, I'm going to hand this off. Got a good gain out of it. And you know you need good blocking up front in order to gain yardage, but every one of these RPOs, if you do it right and they look the same, whether it's handed off inside or the quarterback keeps it, 
that allows you to fool the defense so often. And in this case, fooled them with the inside run. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Once again, it's Mostert. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball, but when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. Now Tua. He's got a man. It's his tight end. That's complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 12-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. A nice gain there to his trusty tight end, and now it's got them thinking opening drive touchdown here as they get into the red zone. And in most cases with your tight end, you feel like you've got a mismatch no matter who's covering it. Is it a and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Raheem Mostert. A 12-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now a 7 nothing game. <laughs> Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Ritter on first and 10. Short throw caught by Pitts. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Give to Patterson, running to the right. Shreds the tackle. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That was a good forceful run, and it demonstrates why you've got to put your body on a runner when you're trying to tackle him. If you just go in there and just try and get him down with arm tackles, usually doesn't work very well, and we saw in that play, he'll run right through those attempted plays. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And now a first chance for the backup here to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Heineke to throw it. He's across midfield. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. The Falcon passing game looking good on this drive as they get the first down. Two minutes gone by, second quarter. Heineke on first down. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Keon Crossett, and the Dolphins are going to have it here just past the 25. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. They'll start the drive with Wilson. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. 
Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And Wilson's going to have the Dolphins first down. Is the tackle going to be made up at the 37? They'll run again with Wilson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Third down and one. From the shotgun, here's White. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Now that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. Atlanta now coming out on the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to want to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. On third down, Heineke dumps this one off to Algier. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. Short completion, just four yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. And it's fielded at the 34. A great return there of 22 yards. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. The Dolphins taking over now late in this first half. As we eat closer and closer to intermission, Charles, remember last time out they punted. They would love to get points here, especially if this is going to be their final possession in the first half. Yeah, and this is what close games feel like because the pressure is on both sides, but sometimes the pressure is a little bit higher on the team with the slight edge because they're trying to hold on to that, trying to increase it. Let's see how this one continues. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Second and 10. Gun, it's white. And he completes it to Barrios. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Braxton Barrios in the final seconds of the first half. And the Dolphins will extend their lead here just before halftime. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff, because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. 
And this is no good. Missed the PAT, so they fail to connect. And this remains a 13-0 game. So six seconds, all that remains of this first half as the kick is away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we have reached halftime in our first preseason matchup of the year. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it up. A look around the NFL. We'll have to wait for postgame because we are moving right through halftime and on to the third quarter. Probably not likely to see many starters in the second half as we get back at it underway in this preseason opener. Igbenogany elects not to return it. The football will come out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they've got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Given 12 yards there, the Dolphins have a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. No doubt about it, a really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 55 yards now on the ground at just seven carries. They had a chance to limit his yardage, but he was able to fight off that tackle. So it's not just the responsibility of the guys who missed the tackles along the way. It's all 11 on defense, able to stop this guy, unable to do it on that play. They've got to find a way. How about his ability to break through and gain that yardage? Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Another carry for Wilson. He's able to get six. A nice pickup down to the 21. This drive is turning into an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to want to run up and tackle him. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. And no signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll go for it. This is Wilson. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Gaskin will try it up the middle. And he'll get four there, down to about the 12-yard line. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that. And that really chips away at your confidence. Now the rookie third-round pick. It's Devon Achan. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. He was a third-round pick, not rounds one or two, but this franchise, they think he can be something with time. There were a few teams that thought he would go in the first round, late in the first round. He ends up sliding to the third, so a lot of teams think now maybe 
This group got a steal. They've got a chance to have a really good player here if he can develop. They added a lot of talent to a roster that really needed an infusion of youth. They got a very good infusion of youth. And they didn't really reach to get anyone as well. They stuck to their draft philosophy, got the best players they could at the time they were drafting, and inserted them into their lineup. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more preseason football on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Wilson going to be hit and met at the line of scrimmage. They get him down at the three. Only a yard that time. Second and goal. Again, Wilson, and he is in. Touchdown, Miami. Jeff Wilson, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins have put this one to bed here in the fourth quarter. And they would not be denied on the ground, powering it in just one play after they got stopped short. And how about how many tight ends were on the field? Because in today's NFL, we think of the tight end more as a pass catcher. But this group... They tell them you've got to be able to run block to stay on this team. And they committed to it and got it done right there. So now the Dolphin offense will stay out there as they'll go for two. They're going to try and run. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Needed a couple yards for the two-point try. They go to the ground game, and it works. And sometimes it's the exact right thing to do because a lot of teams play you for the pass, so you spread people out, decide to run the football, you often find good running lanes. Here comes the Atlanta offense now ready to take over here. And certainly this, not the performance that they were hoping for to begin the exhibition season, but still plenty to watch for in this fourth quarter. A throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. Throwing again, Heineke on second and ten. To the sideline and incomplete. Locked in completions on first and second down. It certainly seems like a reflection of what we've seen so far in this game. The defense, quicker to the punch so far. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. Heineke from the gun on third down. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. And he will get him down a couple yards shy of the first down marker. A nice tackle coming up from his free safety spot. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They'll go, it's Patterson. And he's brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. Heineke now. That's caught, it's Frank Darby. And he's brought down. It's a gain of 16, first down Falcons. A three-score game here late. You could probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But if they trim that lead down to just two scores, that's still a benefit to this squad. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Looking to throw, Heineke. And that one complete to Darby. To give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. 
Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. The offense on third down tonight. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. To throw is Heineke. And this is going to be incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. That well, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. little choice, Charles, but to go for it right there, and that pick six will be the icing on the cake. Yeah, you don't know how many more possessions you're going to get, so really, you're almost at the point of no option. You have to go for it. Bottom line, though, is defenders know that as well. They know you've got to throw the football. Had the right defense call, it would make a nice play on the ball, and that's all she wrote. Sanders now to add the extra point. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Falcons back out getting set for this next drive. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a re And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Nick Needham picks it off. And they'll start out with great field position at the 47-yard line in enemy territory. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brandon, at some point, these defenders absolutely have to say, we've just got to make a stand. We've had enough of this. Given up a lot of points in this game, but looked better on that play. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a second down now as they look to salt this one away. Another run for Wilson on second. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. And a line to gain here is the 37 on third down. looks to throw pass taken in by his big tight end and he will get into the end zone it's another touchdown this thing is ugly for a big tight end he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets ahead of steam going and as a defensive back you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that Sanders on for the extra point Now, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to their big lead. The drive there only spanning three plays, and it winds up in six points for the Dolphins. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Atlanta regains possession of the football. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. You got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. 
Well, you hate to see this before the regular season even begins. Uh, we'll take a break and come back. More preseason action in a moment. On second down, here's Heineke again. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. They'll run straight ahead with Wilson. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. Now they'll hand it off to Wilson, and he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Hate to be blunt, but it is just continuing to prove to be the case that this O-line is manhandling this D-line right now. They deserve to roll up their sleeves and show up their biceps because they're doing exactly what you just described, manhandling the defensive front. They've got the leverage, they're powering through, and they're controlling this game. For the winning team here, Charles, that's about as big and clean of a win as you could hope for in the National Football League. No turnovers. While you, meanwhile, you forced turnovers. You didn't allow any points, and you put up a bunch of points. What an effort. And, Brandon, I just have to ask you, 